Hey guys, Romano here from Bonsai with Romano. Hope you guys are doing well. So today I'll be working on this Ficus tree. Um, just inspired after the Ficus exhibition at Babylon Storm to just work on some of my Ficuses. So what I'll be doing today is I'll be trimming back on some of the growth on this tree. So this tree has been left to grow for about two years. The tree is struggling a bit. Um, I might have removed the soil around the rock way too soon because um, what I'm finding now is that the tree is actually the smaller roots on the rock uh, is burned during summer so it dies off um, so you can see there's a lot of um, dead smaller roots at the bottom close to the rock so it gets too warm and it dies off the bigger roots they've obviously um, joined to the rock um, and, but they have a bit of gap so what I might do in the future is add in another small cutting that I took off this tree and make sure that the roots actually fuse with the, the roots that on the tree currently and then what I'll do is I'll chop the uh, cutting off or, and then take it from there but for today I'm just going to trim back some of these longer shoots so the reason I've delayed it this long in the season is this tree has been neglected a bit over the last two years and the new growth is only two or three shoots long but um, from the previous cut to where it is now there's about one two three four five six seven eight nine leaves um, so if you know anything about ficuses you'll know that they don't have parallel leaves so they grow one on this side one on the other side one on this side one on the other side and also that the leaves morph out of each other so this little seedling or the little point here becomes the branch and the new leaf at the same time so it doesn't have little buds but if you cut it back to where leaf is the bud will form where that leaf is in that same direction so there's about one two there's about six um, areas where I can get grow back from but I'll just trim it back to about two so that I can get smaller internodes and then also the reason I didn't cut it back is because you'll see some of these leaves are a bit yellow so they didn't receive enough water although the growing medium is quite wet it does seem like this rock gets way too warm for this tree so I need to add in a bit more roots just to cover up the root, the rock a bit more so that uh, it doesn't get that warm and then also what I'll do is I'll try and put the tree in a bit more shaded area uh, like it's been in the past two weeks now it's been fertilized with all my other trees now at least three times so I can see that there's a lot of new growth so this is why I'm working on this tree now and why I've actually delayed it a bit because I don't want to work on a tree that doesn't have enough energy to recover and then also what I've did pre previously is I've made two huge cuts one over there and one over here um, and they healing over so within the next two or three years that will be completely sealed so if I get the new roots on here sometime next year the cuts would heal way quicker so i'm going to either plant this into a bigger pot and cover it up all the way till here so that the the complete rock and the roots are covered um, but for today we're just going to trim back all this uh, on this whole canopy and just take it back so that we can actually structure um, the branches a bit more so let's get started Done working on the tree and as you'll see I removed about two-thirds of the mass of the canopy most of the bigger leaves are now gone and you're now left with nice small leaves you will see some of them are a bit more yellow than I would like them to be but that's fine and then on the edges you'll see there's little sap which looks like milk which means that the tree is taking up all the nutrients and it's leaking out at the edges now it's nothing to be concerned about um, one thing that I would mention is if you used a set of um, bonsai cutting shears or any tools that you use during this process please go and wash them off because they do make the scissors and everything sticky so that's something to keep in mind whenever you're working on ficuses don't just directly move over to another tree just wash your tools and sterilize them before you go over to the next tree 
and then the other thing that i do want to mention is i did remove some of the dead twigs and things in between so i removed a bit more of the foliage than i actually wanted to but the one thing that i can say is because this is a ficus i'm not that worried and it is the peak season for them to shoot out new growth so this tree should fall back up within the next week or two so i'll keep you guys updated but now that all those extra leaves are removed you can actually see the nice structure of the branches with the primary branch that I still need to thicken up a bit more I think this would be both my back branch primary branch over here this branch over here still has a lot of growth to do there's still a lot of branching that needs to happen there this one over here is one twig over here that actually died off so I'll cut that off just now and yeah the rest of the tree still looks fine um, I'm perfectly happy with the trunk and the apex I did remove some of the smaller um, branches that branched out from the top so that you can only have one apex so the tree is well on its way to developing into a nice bonsai so the next step now would be to leave this tree to grow out for the season won't do any further work on this tree this year and then next year i'll fill or replant this tree into a bigger bowl as mentioned earlier and then add one of the cuttings i did see that i mentioned forgot to mention that those cuttings are about three or four years old so they're quite developed um, so i can add that in here very easily they have nice roots and they in um, growing containers so the roots are quite long so i can just arrange them around here and that would make this tree look so much better with more roots in the front because in the back you'll see there's quite a bit of roots and it looks a lot nicer going into the cavities um, than it does in the front um, and also the, the positioning of the tree um, it definitely needs some support here to make this believable that this seed actually fell here and grew here so that's it for this tree Done working on it um, if you guys like the content please click the subscribe button and i'll also add in the link for this tree when i remove the pot in the bottom and then also some of the other work that i did on this specific tree because i think there's two or three videos regarding this tree okay enjoy thanks guys